With Ash vs. Evil Dead set to debut on Stars on the 31st of October, it gives us all Evil Dead fans the sequel that we have been begging for all these years. So, I decided to go back and replay the last major entry in the franchise. Evil Dead Regeneration was the final of a trilogy of Evil Dead games which started with Hail to the King and the midway point was Fistful of Boomstick. I'm ignoring the Tower Defense game just for, just for reference. It was released for the PC, Xbox and PS2 in 2006 via THQ and Cranky Pants games and is the best out of the three games. It's an alternate reality storyline which asks the question what happens if Ash never got sucked back in time after Evil Dead 2 and went to fight the Army of Darkness? Well, he ends up in a mental hospital and ends up breaking out to stop an insane German doctor whilst team up with a half dead midget called Sam, who is voiced by Ted Raimi. Combined with some solid controls, allowing you to swing a chainsaw and fire a shotgun at the same time, a humorous script that relies on quick one-liners between the two protagonists, with lots and lots of physical humour that the film series is well known for. This is a very enjoyable title that is well worth playing, despite there being a little bit of repetition near the end. I initially bought this on release in 2006, it was a budget title and was well worth the 19.99 that it cost me. Unfortunately, if you want to play the PC version like me, you won't find it on Steam or any of the other download services that I know of. As far as I know, the only way to get to play this game is to find a used copy, or at least for the PC. Uh, I suppose you have to find a used copy for the Xbox and the PS2 as well. So without further ado, let's get on with this and let's begin Evil Dead Regeneration. This is going to be an 8 part video, so um, be sure to check out all 8 parts. Genius who came up with that name. I've never really believed in true evil. At least not until that night in the cabin. The night we found the book. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. The Book of the Dead. Inked in blood and bound in human flesh, the book holds the power to resurrect demons and summon the powers of darkness. Professor Raymond Noby brought the Necronomicon to this quiet place years ago to study the book to unlock its secrets. He was never seen again. When we read it, we awoke something in the woods. A dark, infectious evil as old as time. It got into my hand and it went bad, so I cut it off. It got to the others too, twisting them, changing them. They became something less than human. That's when they came for me. Oh, I'm good. Ha ha ha! 
Six months and not a single visit. Oh yeah, my appeal must be coming along swell. Hey, you know what? Give me the bad news and blow. TV time starts in five. Your whole story. The Necronomicon. Your friends being possessed by evil. You being forced to butcher them. You were telling the truth. I thought you were crazy. Professor Noby's diary? But how did you... I... Uh... Bribed a janitor to grab your files from Dr. Reinhardt's office this morning. Dr. Reinhardt's office? Why would my shrink have Noby's diary? That doesn't make any sense. Noby's diary? It was in the cabin, right beside the Necronomicon. I have to get to the authorities before Reinhardt realizes this book is missing. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, 
Thanks for believing in me. Time's up, lady. Gotta go. You know what? Just to... You know, I bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for thigh-high stockings and a bra that pushed up your yams. Yams? Oh, baby smooth, Ashinova. What are you up to? Craftsmanship, so diabolically beautiful! Necronomicon ex mortis. Fate brought you to me, but it is destiny and my own brilliance that will allow us to reshape the world! It is time to release the power of the dead! Are you talking to me, Doc? Or is this another one of your crazy mad scientist rants? Even your sarcasm can't ruin my mood today. In fact, I should be thanking you. You proved that a living being could experience the power of this amazing book without succumbing to its evil. I'm just sorry that my experiments on you proved fatal. This a kick in the pants. Achtung, patience! Yesterday's show therapy on view seminar was a jolting success. Danke to all who participated. And remember, there is no I in insanity. You're going down! You're going down hard! <laughs> Let's see if these freaks are still allergic to lead. Don't 
patients. As a reminder, all patients are expected to service their own bedpans. We will not take crap from you. And Looks remember, like nobody open. cares about Fire you out. like Sunny Meadows. <laughs> Cool. You're going to make quite a soldier for the darkness. Achtung, patients! Sign up today for the medication Swap Social. Swap laxatives for lithium, tramadol for tranquilizers, and maybe even make a new friend! No, no, you're through. Hey! Huh? What the? Or double it. Achtung, patients! Sign up today for the medication Swap Social. Swap laxatives for lithium, tramadol for tranquilizers, and maybe even make a new friend. And remember, at Sunny Meadows, happiness is just a pill away. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You know, I've had just about enough of these guys. Ready for a honey.
Suck on that. And stay dead. Achtung, patience. We've cancelled tonight's rugby scrimmage between the narcoleptics and catatonics due to inactivity. This is crazy. Even for a nut house. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now, 10 to 1 says, that hurt. Achtung, patients! We've cancelled tonight's rugby scrimmage between the narcoleptics and catatonics due to inactivity. And remember, at Sunny Meadows, sad is a four-letter word. Finally, some good luck. Well, no going back now. <laughs> that had to hurt. Hold on, there's got to be a way through here. Electrified water? How shocking. Hmm, guess this guy ordered extra crispy. Hey bub, what's cooking? That'll work. Damn, that felt good. Patient possessions? Come on, come on, where are you? Hater.
Bring it on. You reef! Now this is therapy! Yesterday's shock therapy and you seminar was a jolting success. Thank you to all who participated. No exit. No Let's go. See in hell.
You know what? You're toast, ugly. That'll work. Nice office, Doc. No Real idea. modest. Achtung, patients. As a reminder, all patients are expected to service their own bed pans. Bingo. We will not take crap from you. And remember, nobody cares about you like Sunny Meadows. I got a bad feeling about this. Serve your energy, Static Cling, because you're going to need every stinking volt. What was that? You can't believe you just got your ass kicked by a one-handed nut job? What? Oh, you think I'm your daddy? Listen up, Shake and Bake. I eat evil for breakfast and danger for dinner, so spread the word. Ash is back in business.
Whoa. Professor Nobi? What the- Reinhardt has used the Necronomicon to open a series of portals, each one allowing evil to spread through the world, corrupting all in its path. You must stop him. Look, Nobs, let's get this straight. All I must do is get the hell out of here. Now where's the damn fire exit? You can escape this sanitarium, but not the threat that Reinhardt poses. And neither can Sally. Sally? My lawyer? What's she got to do with this? Reinhardt needs my diary to complete his work. And he sent his evil minions to pursue her. Damn, I mean, I know she's a lawyer, but she doesn't deserve that. I mean, sure, she's a little uptight and square, but I think there's something freaky-deaky going on there, too, you know what I'm saying? Well, she was trying to help me, so... Oh, damn. All right, what do I need to do? You must close the portals between this world and the next, for they are the source of Reinhardt's power. Repair breaches. Okay, got it. But you won't be able to do it alone. Uh, no offense, Professor, but uh, how do I put this? You're a big useless ghost head. He's talking about me, hero! Yeah! Oh! Ash, Sam was once a patient here. Dr. Reinhardt used the Necronomicon to change him into the creature you see before you. He's a dead eye. End of story. Okay! Bad voice impression! Sam is spiritually connected to the book, but his soul remains untarnished by evil. He can sense where the portals are. He knows the necessary incantations to close them. You will fail without his help. All right, we go. But if you get all dead-eyed on me, even for a second, I'll carve you up like a Christmas goose. You got that, Stubby? Reality check! Who you calling Stubby? Stubby? Uh. Peachy. Oh, well, Sally girl, I guess you're camping out tonight. <laughs>